Okay, wouldn't let us go live because the signal in here is crap -ay. So, I'm just gonna film it regular. What are we doing? Where are we at? What's up? We are putting down a layer of, I wanna say it's two-in-one primer, and uh, it's from Bullseye. It's, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just a primer and, uh, what is it called? It's a bonding. Sticky bonding primer. We can call it a sticky primer if you want to. Sticky primer. Um, so we're putting down the coat so that we get a nice, hopefully even surface because there's some, there's some Nail spots holes in here. We had to fill. So we had to fill them. I don't think that'll be a problem though. Nope. So we masked it all off. So that we don't get paint on areas that we don't want it. This is obviously going to take a couple coats. So after we get this primer put down, we're going to let it degas or off gas overnight. And that's important because if you epoxy over it right away, you're going to trap all of that under your epoxy and it could make it yellow. And since we are going to put a lot of white in this, we want it to be as pristine as possible. Why didn't we mask this back part off? Because I think they're just going to put more of this right here. I think they should put more glass right there. Or maybe glass, yeah. Maybe some of that stuff. No, I think glass. Yeah. <clears throat> so the top, we're going to be doing this part and then that part. You want to do this part first when you add the epoxy. We're going to have to do a couple coats because this is not a good look. We want to make it as smooth as possible when you're going to be applying epoxy. That's even pushing it, that dip right there. So what we're gonna have to do is put a few coats of this bonding primer and sand it really well, because we want it to be smooth, like this. Actually smooth like down there. So I hope they put more of this glass in that area, because that looks really good. So to speed up this process, you can take a heat gun to it, but we didn't bring it. I don't think you could, I mean, you could dry it, but I don't think that you have to let it set so that. I mean, just between paint layers, not like between this and starting the resin. We'll be adding the epoxy in the morning. I thought we were going to go live with it, but unless I find a good Wi-Fi signal, it's going to have to be pre-recorded, unfortunately. <clears throat> so do you have any particular process in particular when you do this? No, no just try to get everything even. I mean, you normally know, if you wanted to do this, if you were just painting it, you definitely want to get all the lines out, all the roller lines, but since there's going to be resin over this, you won't, that's not necessary. Mm-hmm. Too true. There. This stuff doesn't take long to dry either. Mm-mm. Like this part's almost not even shiny anymore. Also this. I don't know what that is. Some bleeding through a bit. We're also gonna add like dustings of white spray paint. And so we'll probably just make that dusting a little heavier right here because that spray paint's a really good cover all. Soby, when doing a countertop prep, 
What's something you wish you knew before the first time we did this? I gotta go downstairs. I'll be right back and let you guys know. Okay. <laughs> Dumb. Also cute. Hey, I had to do. I had to do the. The, uh, the Michael Scott. Michael Scott. I had to do it. Can you attempt to put another coat on this part? I don't know if it's gonna make a difference. Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty pretty amazing if this if that goes through. I think it might be a stain. But I don't know. They would put that color. It's funny how light it looks until it dries. It turns into this color. I think this is a, this is great. It's not as dark Actually, as I thought it yeah, was going to be. Yeah, it looked a lot darker on the can. Pretty good with the roller. It's like you've done this before. If that crack were to have gone all the way through, we'd have an issue. You should fill it and use um, something, quick coat, to make sure you have nowhere that the epoxy is going to go down through it. Mm, yeah. Will you do this? Can you just roll this? Happy now. Yeah. Still coming through. I don't, I don't, uh. We can call it cheetah print. I don't think that it'll go through the epoxy, but. I don't think it'll go through the spray paint. Well, we'll just see. <clears throat> Strange. Cause this stuff is supposed to be a coverall. Does it look like there's air bubbles? Mm. Well, it's smooth now. We'll see if it... Because this definitely is air bubbles. So if you do end up with air bubbles, that means that your wood is breathing and that's no good because if it's gonna do this with paint, it will do that with your epoxy as well. So you need to make sure you seal whatever it is you're going to resin over well enough that it's not gonna have air bubbles. You can use a polycrylic or just use a quick coat epoxy Something that's gonna set relatively fast. We'll probably do a spray sealant on it if it is in fact breathing. We can do a polycrylic. We just go over there and get a polycrylic and just do a flood coat of that. Mm -hmm. And then just sand it down. Cause that makes me nervous. These are air bubbles. Come look in the camera. I don't know what from. Because it's a porous piece of wood, whatever kind of wood this was. It's breathing. But it's not breathing all over, just over there. Strange. It will give your piece a horrible complexion, if not a dress, before you add the epoxy death bubbles <clears throat> but mm -hmm. all right y'all we will um We gotta get some polycrylic so we can seal that in and then we're gonna dust some white spray paint on it to give it a little extra dimension. We'll see y'all in the next part of this video. Be kind to one another, you never know what, oh, pro tip. What are you doing? 
I'm just wrapping this up till the next day so it doesn't dry out. You can also use a Ziploc. A Ziploc, yeah. I've also seen people just drop the rolly part into the paint tin, but we have set the quart one, so it's not going to fit in there. Obvi. Yeah. So just wrap it up so it won't dry out and give you any crusty issues. Anyway, you kind of want another. You never know what someone's going through. Thank you so, so much for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next installment of how we're going to do this countertop. Bye. I said bye.